I think another outcome for the consumers will be that uh, we see today that millions of copies of popular books are sold with emphasis on a high protein, that's all the, the low carb, which is also high protein, or the low glycemic index books. And many people really use it as a kind of Bible. And I think Diogenes will also provide a, a kind of, of, a, of res end results for whether this is actually uh, effective or, or, or it is just hoax. Uh, so a lot of consumers will get some clarification about whether we should, and also dietitians and health professionals, they will know whether they can endorse some of these diet book principles or whether they can say for sure that this is not effective, don't waste your time and money with that aspect. So I believe that we will get a lot of clarification, not only scientifically, but also for the consumer. Now, what I said in the beginning, uh, we really need to have measures for reducing the prevalence of obesity in Europe. And we also know that there are differences between different countries. For instance, in Germany and England, it is much higher the number of people who are obese compared to the Netherlands or the Scandinavian countries. But we don't know exactly what are the different factors involved in that. Now, based on the fact that we have an integrated project where we have different aspects uh, where we are looking for the, uh, the uh, data and, and the results out of that, we think we can give some clues about what is more important and what are the important factors you can really modify to, uh, uh, to reduce the prevalence of obesity. All interested parties, and that is food industry, that is research centers, that is small and medium enterprises who are doing s specific aspects of uh, such uh, program, are really enthusiastic working on this, uh, on this whole project and getting results out of that, which can be of benefit for the European cons consumer. We are now halfway the project, and that means that we have now collected uh, most of the data, uh, and that is in the different research uh, uh, lines, as we can call it. We have the dietary line, where we have now collected most of the data of dietary intervention. Uh, based on uh, <coughs> changing the diet related to uh, protein intake and glycemic index. That data is now coming into the main uh, data hub computer and starting to analyze this data, seeing what is the effect of the different diets on, uh, on, uh, on the bait in particular, but also on other health parameters. Uh, we also have collected most of the data on uh, genetic variation in about 12,000 subjects all over Europe where we have information about weight gain over the last 10 years and that data will also now be analyzed in this, uh, in this year so we are expecting to have quite a lot of information and results at the end of 2008.